Boo. Oh man, do I have a DIY for you. Hi, welcome to Artistry Collaborative. My name is Joanne and oh, I'm so excited about this DIY. This is from the Dollar Tree. Absolutely everything except this tree is from the Dollar Tree. Oh, it is so much fun. And I know it looks overwhelming. Um, you don't have to do as much as this. I actually, my daughter sent me a um, link to a lady, and I'm going to put that down in the description, uh, who did this. But I kind of took it another or ten steps further. I hope you enjoy this. I'm so glad you're here. If you like my channel, please subscribe and share. I'm so grateful for you. And we've got to make it to 2,000 subscribers and then we're going to have a huge giveaway. So get on there and subscribe. All right. By the way, not only is this adorable tabletop, but it lights up. Oh, yeah. What happening? Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, come along and let's create this together. Okay, so we are going to paint all our pieces black. Um, so I'm going to use black gesso. You can use black acrylic paint. You can spray paint it black, which would be very easy. Um, Gee, now that I think about that, maybe I should spray paint it. Nah, I'll paint it with gesso. Um, and you want to do both sides because we're going to light it up. And I, I also think um, painting both sides just finishes the product. So I have to tell you, um, my daughter found this idea. And I will um, put her... Uh, link in the description box where I tell you uh, all the different products that I use. But um, once I saw it, my ideas just, oh my God, they have not, I, I, I'm going to make something similar to what she made, but I'm going to take it to the next level. Um, and just, we are going to go and have a party in this haunted house. So I'm just... <laughs> I, I really feel like, uh, and I don't know if it's these um, tutorials, because I'm always thinking what I can bring you guys, but I mean, I'm always been a maker, so, uh, oh, speaking of which, um, Making It Season 3 is coming back 2021. I actually sent in an application last year, and then COVID hit, and that was the end of that, but um, I'm going to do it again, so... I just think that it's just the awesome show and it's just, well, you know how I feel about creativity and importance, but yeah, to have a show on national television showing people how to be creative, it's pretty awesome. So anyways, like I said, doing these, and I do have to get back to my podcast because I've neglected my podcast because I've been doing the tutorials, but I am so grateful for you guys. You're just coming out and spreading the news and I'm getting more and more views and it's just really exciting and once I hit 2,000 followers um, I am going to have a huge giveaway uh, I may have like three like three different things uh, you know maybe a goodie bag and a fairy garden and I don't know but so you know get your friends to subscribe and to watch um, because I do, I do want to start doing that too. All right. <clears throat> so anyways, uh, yeah, my creativity is like off the charts and like ideas are just coming to me. Like there's no tomorrow. And I just signed up. I found this lady on Facebook. Uh, she's from California and she does miniatures. I think she does a lot of different things, but she does miniature swaps, and I love all things tiny, just love it. So I thought, oh, all right, that sounds like fun, I'll do that, and she ended up doing a Halloween one, and you had to find out how many people are participating. This particular one is five, but I know sometimes it goes up to 20 people that she does these swaps with. Anyway, um, and I had this idea, <clears throat> the thing behind it is 
you had to do five different little shadow boxes, like the size of a large matchbox, you know, the kind that are about that big. Um, and they had to have a central theme, so it had to have the same, like if you used a witch, you had to have a witch in each one. And I had this original idea, but what I wanted to do, the object was too big. So then I came up with these adorable ghosts. I think I'm going to, well, I don't think I can put them on Instagram until the contest is over. Um, but um, I will have to do that for you guys so you can see. And the ideas were just coming and like, I just, I was like, I'm not going to have enough time. She's given us a month to do it. I did them all this weekend. I was just so elated. So, yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very, my creativity juices are like on an all-time high. And, you know, I do have my lulls. Um, so I want to tap into this energy and be able to bring you lots of inspiration and, and ideas. And I'm just thrilled. Um, I know it seems like we're doing a lot of Halloween. I promise I'm going to do a little fairy garden with you guys hopefully this week. We're actually going to go away this weekend. Um, first time, but my friends have a have a little cabin up in Maine, isolated Maine, where there's no COVID cases at all. Um, and so we're kind of looking forward to that. So I want to get some stuff done before I go. But anyways, um, so I don't want you to think it's just going to be Halloween, although my Halloween stuff, people are just really watching it and loving it. So... Um, I'm very excited about that. All right, so I'm going to go and paint all these, and I'll be back. Okay, so all my pieces are nearly dry. I did want to say um, that the woman that um, made these, the, idea, the, the, the woman that I saw do her version, um, actually bought a contact paper. And now that I think about it, she said she did not get that at the Dollar Tree, but it was like a white gray wood grain. Um, and again, you could cover these with like a scrapbook paper that has that wood grain on it. Um, my Dollar Tree, of course she said she didn't get it at the Dollar Tree, but I wasn't thinking that, uh, did not have that. It had a dark wood, wood grain, and it had an even darker, like almost brown black wood grain. But... I found this, and I think this is going to be even better. It's going to take it to another whole level. Um, you can get this. It's that shelf liner stuff. And so it's going to look so distressed. So the reason why I was telling you that is because if you use the contact paper, then you would only have to paint one side, or you could contact paper both sides. But um, because I'm doing this, uh, I had to paint them. So I'm going to go and we're going to uh, mark this with a marker and then I'm going to cut it out and you know if it's rough on the outside who cares because this is a spooky house and spooky houses should be raggedy and jaggedy and all that fine stuff. So. I'm just going along. I'm not going to do both sides. I'm just going to do the outside, um, too. And, um, so once I outline all of this, don't forget your windows. Those we're going to cut out with an X-Acto knife. Um, once this is all marked, I will cut it out. And then I'm going to tacky glue it on. Okay, so I cut one out and I wanted to glue it on so it could dry while I cut the other one out. But one of the things I thought of um, after I cut out the outline was that I won't cut the windows out until this is dried on there because I think it will be easier to cut out the windows um, once it is on here. So, I will show you what I mean. This tacky glue has been in this little container for quite a while, even though I use so much of it. Um, and I cover it, I put a 
piece of saran wrap over it and then I put the top on it so that it's extra sealed. Um, but even so, with time, tacky glue gets so thick. And I mean, you want it to be, you know, you want it to catch everything really well. But you can always add a little water. You don't want to add a lot of water. Um, but uh, just know that you really need to keep your cap on or you cover on really, really well um, with tacky glue because it does thicken up unbelievably. Um, make sure that you get your sides really well so it holds it. No, I'm saying really a lot. Uh, but I just want to... That's why it's taking me so long <laughs> to put this on because it's so thick. I'm trying to move it around and it just doesn't want to move. I could add a little water, but eh, I want it to have good coverage. So, yeah. There we go. Gosh. Okay. So. I'm going to place this on here. Actually, we can turn it this way so my marks don't show from the marker. And place that on there. Place that on there. Maybe I should cut the whole thing after I glue a piece on. Maybe that would be better. It's not too bad. And then, like, see, this looks like it doesn't have enough. So, I'm going to put that on there. Right, and I'm going to let this dry while I do the other one. But what I'm trying to say is instead of going in and cutting it with a uh, scissor, because it's very flimsy, once this is dry, we'll go in there and cut like this, and I think it'll be so much easier once it's dry. All right, let me finish, and I'll be back. So I'm not sure if you can see this isn't completely dry, but... I went back and I redid the other one because the easier way to do this is to put your glue down and then just lay the piece over it and then let that dry and then cut around that. It's so much easier than, than using the marker. So just, it, excuse me, ignore the marker because it's just it's an unnecessary step if you do it this way. So I just wanted to show you how easy with the X-Acto knife, you just follow the um, line of the house, and it comes right off. I just love this idea. I'm so glad that they didn't have the uh, wooden contact paper, because I just think this is just going to be awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We're going to distress it a little bit. It's going to look totally spooky. Okay, so that's that. And then, to do the doorways and the window, you just, again, follow on the inside. Look how easy that is. The door. And the window. And don't worry about it if it's jagged. I mean, that just works for the theme totally works for the theme all right so that is that then i got a piece of this tool from the dollar tree i got the spider web and as you can see in here i put it behind the piece so it comes through the windows so you just turn this over and i just measured the piece so that it covers 
all the bottom windows. And then you just cut a small piece to cover that. So this one's a little bit too big. Let me cut a little bit more off of this side. So, yeah. I'll just trim this. And then what I did is I just put it down where it's going to go. And I took a pencil and just I make sure all the windows are covered. So, just follow along the edge of where you placed your tool and just lightly put a pencil mark because what you're going to do is you're going to put a line of glue there so that it will hold it down. like so. Then you take your glue and you're going to follow along your pencil line and I went around each window to reinforce And then just take, make sure you get the shiny side, and put it down. And then I am taking a tongue depressor and making sure it all is tight and it's all down. glue there. Again, the glue dries clear, so it really doesn't matter, but I don't want globs of glue. Pull it till it's taut. You want it nice and tight. Alright, and then again, we're going to cut a little piece and cover that. And then we are going to work on this. Now this, the last the woman that I got the idea from did not have this component, but what I'm going to do is add a little indoor scene. We're going to put lights in here. Um, we're going to light this up, but in here we're going to put little ghost figures. I don't know if I'm going to get them from the Dollar Tree or if I'm just going to make them. Um, I may just use the Dollar Tree just so you guys can, you know, you don't have to go crazy trying to make them. Um, Actually, these it's going to be the windows. So, yeah, I just want I just want the ghost dancing. So let me get my ghosts. Wait for this to completely dry, and I'll be back. Okay, I got so excited that I started to get ahead of myself. But um, here's the crate painted, and um, I wanted to put lights in the windows. So originally, I was just going to put these lights. Um, they're the purple ones and I bought a bunch of lights today and I thought I was buying those but I got this and I have to say the quality is not that good it's really bright at the beginning and at the end but in between not so much so that doesn't work for me but what I do have are these little ghosts how cute are these just adorable. So we're going to put these in the windows in, in here. So the little, this comes in a pack, there's pumpkins, ghosts, and bats. Um, and so they come from the Dollar Tree. And what I do is I emboss them with this Distress Embossing Ink by Tim Holtz. And I just take it and 
just cover it. Uh, it says embossing ink, but it's really not an ink. It's a um, glue. And you just get it well covered. Luckily, these are very small, so you can just do it that way. And then I'm going to use, this is White Sparkle by Commotion. But you can make your ghost whatever color you want. If you want funky ghost, you can do color ghost. Why not? Who says ghosts have to be white? All right. And then I shake them off. And then you get your heat gun and blast it. I know you can't see it on the film, but it just turns this really wonderful, textural, glittery loveliness. So for this guy, what I did is I glued him to a little block. They're little blocks that you can buy at the Dollar Tree, but you could use anything. You could use a bottle cap and put it behind the ghost. No one is going to see that anyway. Um, and I put him in there because what this is going to be is like they're going to be dancing in the living room. And so this one, I put it on a Jenga block. Um, you can buy them at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to glue it. Glue it to the block. I just want to make sure that it gets in the windows. So it should be about here. And I'm wondering if he should be higher. Let me see. I'll we'll put this like this. Uh, should he be up a little bit? I think he needs to be up a little bit. Okay, I gotta add another jingle bot. Okay, hold on. Okay, so um so I took a Jenga, I painted that, and now I'm going to attach this to this and then I'm going to put a spot of glue here and we want to place it where the window is so right here right in front of the window oh perfect okay all right so we are going to place the ghosts and in order for them to really show up they need to be pressed against the window like that. So in order to do that, I'm taking a piece of um, popsicle stick that I broke down and I'm just going to glue it so that it holds it really tight. And see, you don't even see that or else I paint it black, but I don't think it needs it. So you put a little hot glue, hold that baby down. And we're going to do that for every window. Okay, so to keep you up to speed, <laughs> um, what I did was I took out the middle part of that crate because we have some extra ghosts. And I, there's not enough light. I want more light in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these other ghosts. They're going to hang in there like so. And just to show you what we did, um, you get a piece of popsicle stick. I did paint them black um, and just held down the tails. This is an extra one. It doesn't really go anywhere. So he's just going to stay in there. That's fine. And then this one is going to come over here. This one is going to come over here. Or we could put them in the back too. Maybe one in the back, one in the front. Who knows? Like that. And then this is going to be Velcroed to the side so they can reach over and just turn it on and off. But I'm also going to put an upside down tea light so that we can add more light in here. So I don't think 
if there's enough light in there. Maybe there is. I don't know. But what I'm going to do is to secure this, I'm going to put a dab of glue here and a dab of glue here. And be very careful because, trust me, you will get burned. All right, I try to be... So I'm going to hold this side. until it stays, and then I'll do the other side. All right, and then I'll put a dab of glue on this side, and then we'll hold that down until it stays. I hope I'm not being confusing. I'm trying to, you know, I'm learning with you. <laughs> this is a Learn by fire. Right, jo if Joanne was a little more patient, this would go a little bit better, I think. There we go. All right, then we'll put a dab over here, back here. Hold that down. Make sure you leave enough wire so that the ghost is actually in the room. All right. Well, it's a little bit brighter. But it still needs more light. So, let me get a tea light. Okay, I saw the error of my ways. Um, and so, I'm not going to add the tea light. What I'm going to do is bring this little ghost down here, right next to this guy. And he's going to light up. this ghost here. So they look like they're buddies. And then this one, I have to wait till it's six. I just don't know how to wait. Patience is a virtue. This will just make it stay a lot better. And what I did is to do that is I came through underneath and brought this up through the thing so that yeah like so all right we're gonna let this dry and I'll be back I think tomorrow and we will finish with this and we got to put a roof on it and we're going to build all kinds of fun stuff so yeah So this is what we have so far. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Now we need to put a roof on. So you take popsicle sticks, again, the Dollar Tree. They have small ones and they have large ones. But the lady that I saw this from used small ones. So, I don't know. I'm going to try both and see what I like. Um, I 
think I might like the bigger ones. Better. Yeah, I like the bigger ones better. All right, we're going to do the big ones. So, so that's what we need to do, is we need to, I think you should start from the bottom and then build from there. All right, so you're going to need your hot glue gun. And I'm thinking, eh, I think I want to paint things before I put them on. I think it'll just be easier. So get out your black gesso or your acrylic paint and paint all your sticks. I have no idea how many I'm going to need. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm going to say about 30. I'm going to do 35 just to be safe. So I don't want to keep you doing that boring stuff. So paint your popsicle sticks and come back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start to um, glue these on. And uh, one of the things I wanted to say is, you know, you didn't have to be really precise in um, gluing the popsicle sticks uh, because you want it to look rough so if you didn't get full coverage don't fear I mean it's it's fine and so this is how I mean I guess I could go all the way across huh? And then you just want to lay it over just a little bit so it looks like a roof. And then just hold that down. And then you just keep going. Now what I am going to do is brush this with some gray paint in spots so it looks distressed. And I'm going to go over the house with some black paint so it looks distressed. So this is, you know, the wonderful thing about Halloween projects is messy is good. All right, so you're just going to keep going. I want to go to the top to show, you know, what happens when you get to the top. And you don't have to overlap too much because you don't want to use that many um, popsicle sticks but just enough to hold it down. You got it. I tend to lean one way or the other, so try to keep them as straight as you can. Well, again, it doesn't matter. It'd be funny if it's crooked. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start on this side and show you. put some glue down here and here and put the first shingle. And this one just needs one to meet up with that. So for this, here all that stuff falling. <laughs> yeah. For this, I'm going to 
put it along here too. So you can always fill in your gaps. And you know what? If you don't want to do it with popsicle sticks, you could put moss. That would work. So there's a thousand ways to remedy things that you might look at as a mistake. And then I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to go up, like so, and go all the way around. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be back. Okay, now the real fun begins. Um, you could just leave it like that. This is what it looks like on. And again, when you have no lights on, it's even better. Um, of course, you could change. You have to change the batteries. So what I'm going to do watch, is take some Velcro. This side is sticky, but I'm going to put a little bit of extra glue on there and put it on the back of the battery pack. And then I'm gonna put some glue on here and I'm gonna stick it in the back so that it lines up so that when you look at the door, you just see black. And you just put your hand in there and switch it on and switch it off. So that's the first thing. Then I wanted to have a yard. I wanted to put it on some kind of plaque. So this was just a spare piece of wood I had from something. But I mean, you could use a Dollar Tree piece of wood. This was from a shadow box I made. I took this out of there. This is another plaque that you could use. Any of these. Maybe your husband does woodworking projects um, and you have a spare piece of wood. Or maybe a really thick piece of cardboard. That would work too. Um, and so I painted the portion black where I'm going to lay my or glue my haunted mansion on um, and then this is sticky moss I used to get this at the the um, AC Moore I miss that store incredibly um, and so I'm just covering this now Dollar Tree does sell this from time to time not all the time but they normally have what they call reindeer moss and you could use that too. It doesn't come in a sheet, um, but you could put glue down and you could just put it down to give you that grassy look. Um, either one will work, but they do sometimes have sheet moss. It's not sticky, but you just use some tacky glue and voila, it's covered. And so I'm just going to put this down to cover my base. Yeah, I really do miss AC more. Um, yeah, things that, you know. Well, it is what it is. What are you going to do? Now Amazon takes over, right? <laughs> okay, so there you go. So now we're going to glue this on here. Now you're going to have a lot of strings. Um, I think it kind of adds to it, but if you ever do hot glue work, um, and you have a lot of strings and you don't want them, the best thing to do is get your hair dryer out or your heating gun and just go over it and they disappear like magic. It just melts the glue, so it's perfect. All right, so now the woman that I saw on YouTube, and like I said, I will put her, I want to give her credit, and I will put her link in the uh, box below. But she took these uh, bag of rings, and in the bag of rings they have, well, they have skulls, and they have bats. Now, I have bats from those little wooden cutouts, but you cut off the ring, and you can place them all over. But I can't just do that. I have to add a little zippity-doo-dah. 
So I'm going to hot glue this to the back of the bat and we're going to have them as if they're flying out of the um, belfry, if you want to call it that. The bats in the belfry. So I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue and now it would be really awesome if I had some black um, black wire and they do sell it but I don't have it and this will do I'm not silver is just as good because I painted some of the bats silver where's my silver bats where did they go yeah here we go so I could use a silver bat too um, but we're gonna just have bats everywhere and then I um, have this little white ghost. This one has a mark on it, so I have to get a different one. But I'm going to put him in the doorway. And I may even put steps here, because that bothers me that there's a step up. So I may get two Jenga blocks and paint them, and then have the ghost in the doorway. Wouldn't that be adorable? I may even use a door, make a door. Um, you could also make shutters. And again, you could use the um, the uh, tongue depressor right that make a great shutter or I should kind of use my like look at that perfect yeah we're gonna make some shutters absolutely um, and uh, you know I will paint them and show you what I do. You know, you just paint them and put some lines on them. And I kind of like the rough edges. They're kind of, kind of cool. You know, so I think I'll do the big, this one, this one, and this one will have the, the uh, shutters. So cool. And then I thought maybe I'll put a couple of tombstones, maybe a, a black tree. They, I did have a, I did find one black tree at a Dollar Tree store. And um, I used it in another tutorial on the fairy lights, and I made a Halloween light, and I put it at the top. But that would have been really cool right here. Um, we could actually add another light lighted box. This could just go on forever. But let me um, work on my bats. I'm going to do my bats, and, um, and I'm going to do my stairs. And we're just going to, um, yeah. We're going to doll this up. And again, you can add pumpkins. You could add a, a thing of pumpkins uh, in the front. You could put uh, tombstones or signs, beware. I could do that too. I have little signs that I put in my fairy garden. I could make little signs and oh gosh, it's endless. It's just endless. Beware, go back. Oh God. All right. So. Let me uh, work on this a little bit, and um, I will be back. It's the next day, and um, I just wanted to show you some of the things. I wanted to show you this little block that I got at the Dollar Tree. It comes in a package, and this is what I put that other ghost in the back on. I put the ghost on here, glued that, and then glued that so it was further out. Um, I just wanted to let you know that. Uh, okay. What I did is I got some silver paint. It's, uh, just this cheap acrylic paint that I got at the lot store. And what I'm doing is just lightly brushing different areas so that it looks distressed. That's all. You do not have to do this. I just think it gives it a little more realism and you can cover up some of your mistakes if you have some glue showing um, it's all good that's the one thing about this <laughs> that is so cool is that it does not have to be perfect and the less perfect it is the better um, and I will do the same with some black paint on the house I will throw some dry brushing black paint over it so that it distresses that um, I did make some shutters. All I did was use the large uh, tongue depressors and just snipped them off with my long nose pliers, painted them purple. I used Illusions Crushed Grape, but 
I just wanted to go with purple because I wanted to give it a little extra color. Kind of measured them the same. They don't have to be the same. Again, that's the beauty of this uh, Halloween thing. Um, and then I just took a popsicle stick and a black marker and just drew some lines so that it looks like a shutter. This marker is not the greatest, but again, I'm not too worried. And even the um, shutters are not the same sizes. So they're just, it's, you know, depends on how fanatic -y you are. Obviously, I'm not. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah. I think I'd like more lines in here, so I'm just going to draw them in. And again, I don't know why I really bothered with the tooth, the, the uh, popsicle stick. And again, I don't want them conformed, so I'm just kind of putting them haphazard. Some hot glue. I'll get this one to go that way. that way. No, I don't like that. No. Yeah. I don't like them going the same way. So I'm taking this one off and putting it this way so it looks a little more crooked. Alright. And then these are the Jenga blocks that I uh, did because this little gap bothered me. So I'm putting this one out about a half an inch and then I'm going to put this one on top so it makes the stairs perfect, right? Goes right up to it. So we'll put some hot glue on this and put that in and then hot glue on this and this side because this is going to go against the house and just line it up and there. Now, where did my door go? Um, I had a door. I, my thing is fairy houses, so I have a lot of fairy accessories. Um, so this was in my stash. But again, I've been doing crafts. Well, I'm 61, and I've been doing them since I was a teenager. So, um, But anyways, I had to switch this around because I wanted the door to open this way. And... Um, so, and I just painted it black, but you could just cut out this from cardboard. That would work too. I mean, you don't have to have this stuff in your stash. And then I am going to, um, glue it right there. So I'm going to put a bead of glue along the side and a little bit on the bottom because it goes on the stair. We'll put it right there and that's going to go there. Then we're going to put this guy in the doorway so that he greets all the uh, wonderful guests. And yeah, so I think the hands and the head. We'll put some on the bottom. I'm not sure what it's going to touch, but all right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, I did make a couple of signs, and they were like, keep out or beware. And I don't, you know, I love Halloween, but I love the ghosts and goblins and the fun stuff of it. I'm not into the spooky, scary stuff. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to make my house a little more fun. So I made this sign. It says, come in. It's spooktacular. And that's going to go right there. And all we need to do is put a little dab of glue and put that like that. I should probably, you know, it might be good is if you put it in a cap and um, put it there so that it's like in a pot and you'd have more of a stable um, thing, which I think I will do. Um, I have to find a cap, but God knows I have one. Uh, for my bats, if you can see, uh, 
Again, I attached it to the wire, and then you just take a pencil or whatever, and you turn the wire around and pull it out, and it has this wonderful swirl effect going on. And then you can just attach them underneath so it looks like they're coming out of the roof. So again, a handy dandy glue gun. What would I be without my glue gun? And be careful because it's extremely hot. You know, they sell glue guns that have low temperature, but I have never found that a low temperature glue gun did the job. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it depends on the craft, but yeah. So I've got bats coming out everywhere and I'm going to put more bats in here. Then the other thing I did is I made a few tombstones. And again, it's the popsicle sticks, you know, and you can write whatever you like on here. Um, rest in peace. Uh, here lies Johnny B. Good. Um, whatever you like. And again, you can just put it in like that. Yeah. All right. And then this one. All right. So we added that. Now we're going to add a few ghosts. We'll put a few ghosts out here. Um, and again, you can go as crazy or not crazy as you like. Um, it really is up to you. But for me, I love all the fufa. And I mean, this on a, like, I'm going to put this in my entranceway, on a little table, just awesome. Now, like I said, I did find a, a tree at the Dollar Tree. If you look at my fairy lights, fairy and Halloween light, you'll see the little tree that I did find there. But that, I found one in one store, and that was the only one I found. This was in my Halloween stash, and um, I had made a a small uh, haunted house a couple of years ago and this was part of the, the thing but I took this out and added the Dollar Tree lights and I'm going to attach it right here and everything is movable so I'm going to just glue it and then I'm going to put this pack next to this pack so that you can just turn both of them on at the same time. See that? Perfect. All right, so I'm going to glue that. And you could make this with branches, um, like when you buy a flower stem you know you have several different heads and it comes with um, a lot of times I cut that and make my own trees for my fairy garden so you could do that I just happen to have this one um, it, let me know in the comments if you want me to show you how to do that I'm more than happy to do that but we're going to just put some hot glue on here and we are going to place it right here and like I said these are very movable so you can put them all over and I was going to build a fence um, with popsicle sticks you know like put two together and put one like this but I don't think I am let me see yeah I don't think I am I think it, that is enough I may put a few pumpkins in the yard uh, and you know I think we'll call this a day I absolutely love this. Love it, love it, love it. I was going to add more bats, but since we have the bats and the ghosts in the trees, I think that's enough. So, I really hope you like this. I enjoyed doing this so, so much. 
and I hope that you have children that you or grandchildren that you can do this with and um, just you know bring it out every year and just remember that you, you did this together even it is it is crooked but I love that aspect of it um, it's not perfect and this is one of those crafts that it doesn't have to be and that just kind of adds to its uh, uh, authenticity if you want to call it that um, but uh, yeah I just just love this so I will take a picture of it finished and lit, lit up so that you see because um, I doubt if you can really tell with um, this lighting let me see if I shut this light off if you can tell it's a little bit better yeah but so fun oh gosh so fun all right thank you so much for tuning in I appreciate you so so much this is so exciting for me because I've been wanting to do these tutorials I am so passionate about making people helping people to be more creative um, I just think it just helps in mental health so so much and when your mental health is better your overall health is better and um, so please subscribe and share I'm so grateful for you uh, look at the other videos comment let me know what you want to see Christmas is coming and oh my god if you think I love Halloween wait do you see what I love about Christmas um, and go to our website artistrycollaborative.org uh, we're on Instagram, Artistry Collaborative, and um, of course, uh, I have a podcast, which I'm going to get back to. I'm going away this weekend, and I'm hoping to interview one of my friends from New York uh, who works in the theater uh, industry and is very, you know, does lots of wonderful things, but of course, COVID has really hurt him really bad, and so I'd like to talk to him about that experience, but it's called Inner Promptings. It's on iTunes. It's on Stitcher. It's on Spotify it's on a, a, a ton of platforms um, so there's a link below for that and again I just I love you guys you I know that's a weird thing to say since we don't really meet but hey I you don't have to you can love universally and it's a wonderful thing so thank you so much and um, remember keep on creating have it so much fun I don't know if I can go in closer I don't know if you're gonna see anything detailed but just added a few little pumpkins and um, distressed the house with a little bit of black paint and there you have it